Hi guys, so today's video is going to be top 10 facts that you should know about rat care before you get a rat. Okay, so my first point I want to make is that when you're getting rats, plan for at least two because there is no excuse for not having two. Rats must be in at least pairs because they are very sociable animals. Um... You know, I've heard stories about rats going crazy, depressed, they start chasing their tails. <laughs> um, you know, that might be a cute thing for dogs, but it's not not rats good sight. They're very sociable animals, and they're also very active. Um, they, if, when you get... Oh, they're trying to play with me. When you get two rats or more, you they will play together, they will sleep together. They will groom each other, they will do everything together basically, and they'll give each other confidence, which is another really important factor. Um, yeah, it's just so important that they have at least another little friend to play with. You know, the more the better. But that's just, I think, probably the most important thing about rats. Um, secondly, Just following their cage for a little bit, well, I could be out again in a second, but um, they've decided to go for a nap. Anyway, I think um, my next fact that you need to know is that rats, you know, as important as it is to have them in a pair, it is also equally as important not to have a male and a female together because they will breed and there is enough rats in this world and if you want more rats then you should go to a um, shelter or a rescue and try and give another rat a second chance <clears throat> so yeah so you know if you do want to breed then make sure you know exactly where those um, potential babies are going to go so that they're not left without a home and also make sure that the parents are um, of a good bloodline because rats just have enough genetic problems and they're inbred too much already as it is. So yeah, just be responsible in that sense and um, try and get two females or two males or you can get a female and a male together but one of them needs to be neutered so they can't have um, little baby ratties. <laughs> I think probably the next thing to say is about cages and tanks. Um, rats should never be, able, never be kept in tanks because they have really bad respiratory systems. It's just the way they've been bred which is another thing about breeding, you know, never breed two rats that you know, I don't have the best possible genes because they're just so inbred for snake feeding and all of this. <laughs> and it's just not a good idea. But anyway, don't get put them in a tank. Tanks do not offer rats enough ventilation by any means. Even tank toppers just don't do them. Um... Cages are always, always, always the best option. Not only because of the ventilation, but also because it means they can climb. As you can see, their cage is fairly big. And it gives them the opportunity to climb, and obviously there's lots of ventilation. What I would say about cages is that if you're going to have babies, or small boys, or girls, then you do need to have half an inch bar spacing. Um, this cage does only have, or well, does have one inch bar spacing, but because these guys are both boys and they're dumbos and so basically they're just big, um, I can get away with it. Um, if you do find a cage that's absolutely perfect but has one inch bar spacing, there is an easy solution to this and you can just put chicken wire on it around the, um, thing, around the sides of the cage and that will stop them from getting out. If you look at some of my pre previous videos, you can see pictures of what their cage used to be like when they were babies. Um, 
But yeah, that's just a thing to take into consideration before buying this. Before buying, before buying whatever cage you want. Um, I think this is my fourth point now. Um, another thing to say about cages, I suppose. Um, rats need at least two square feet of space in their cage. Obviously, as you're going to be having at least two, that means at least four square feet. Don't go down the side of the bed, babies. You are so naughty. Come back here and play in stuff where we don't know you are. Um, so yeah, at least four square, square feet of space in that cage. And obviously your cage needs to be at least as tall as they are so that they can stretch upwards. And you know, as I said, the taller the better because it means they can climb. I think my fifth point is also kind of following on from the whole cages thing. Um, rats can get something called bubble feet and it's just basically where they've got really unhealthy feet but it's caused by them having to constantly stand on mesh and you'll see in a lot of cages including my old cage which had this shelf in it that the shelves are just wire and that's obviously not very nice for them to stand on and so I have um, just picked up some plastic and put that on there and then put it with fleece, obviously you don't need the fleece but it's just nice for them, and it's good for absorption and things. So that's what I use, but really you can use anything, just don't leave them on just plain bars because it's not healthy for them and it's not expensive to sort them from them out. Um, the next point I would say is about playtime, which you can see the rats are doing now. Rats need at least one hour's play, as they are very active, as you can see. Um, it's actually quite cool. Rats will adjust their playtimes um, around you. So my boys come out in the morning when I'm awake, when I wake up, and then they're most active in the evening when I'm around doing study and things. Um, sorry, you haven't already told us. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, one hour's playtime at least is they are very active and they need some kind of change during their day of something that can keep them a bit interested in life because otherwise they will get bored. And I suppose my next point on from that is about toys. Um, obviously they can't, well normally, they can't spend their entire day out in your bedroom or in the bathroom or wherever you keep them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> You're watching Max as he's jumped down. Has he? Um, so, when they're in their cage, you do need to kind of find some toys and things to keep them um, active and interested. Obviously, their friend is going to be their best toy, but on from that, you just need to find other things that they're interested in. You can get rat wheels that all of them will use. Tubes, um, hides in the, just the box. Um, puzzles like this. I'll probably do a video on different type rat puzzles ideas. But things like this that you can fill with food and it will keep them interested. My boys are very food oriented. So anything with food is good. <laughs> Toys are very important, just to try and keep them happy and healthy, mentally as well as physically. Um, let's try and find the rat here. There we go. Um, found it. <laughs> um, I suppose after that, I want to talk about shoes. Rats have constantly growing teeth. Can you come back? <laughs> Um, their teeth constantly grow and so they need something that will wear down their teeth because otherwise it can cause them a fair amount of pain. So um, the best thing obviously is to get them some kind of wood chew. You don't really want them chewing on plastic because this isn't good and natural for them. But <laughs> stay down, sir. Stay down. <laughs> but, um, 
um, what the wood chains are great. Like this one, you can see here. They're not showing on this one. They had another one similar to that, and that just appeared last night. They completely finished it. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously, um, lab block, some lab blocks and stuff are very hard. So that's just drawing down their teeth. And also, we have to chew straight away. So you've got to just kind of find ways of get, encouraging them to chew stuff. Oh no! What are you doing? Look at him. He's escaped. He escaped. Go and sit in one of the next people. Just <laughs> that. Um, so yeah, obviously, um, things like cardboard. Oh, there you go. Cardboard, good for them to chew on. You can see they chew this a bit. Um, any kind of cardboard, this is something I made. It's important to keep the um, teeth down because otherwise it can cause them quite a lot of pain. Um, another thing is that hammocks are very important. Um, rats absolutely adore hammocks. We have to adore hammocks. Um, these are some of my ones. This is a big L shaped one with. It's open like that either end, and then there's another little door there. This is a big cube hammock. They'll sleep on the top of that, and then they'll sleep inside it as well. Um, up here is a big long hammock, and it's got various different levels and gaps and things in it. Down there, you can see another hammock, and here is Max's favourite hammock. It's a pocket hammock. So, you know, things like that they will play in, and sometimes they actually sleep in the kind of very corner of it. They sleep in that, but they can play in that as well. Same with the cube. They play in that one more than they sleep in it, but then they sleep in that one all the time. Oh look, we have got two rabbit bats. We have two rabbit bats. But now you're all climbing on me, and you can't see them anymore. Oh no! Oh no! So hammocks are very important for them to climb on. Um, you know, they've got muscles and climbing and things, and obviously for them to sleep in. Um, and then I think my last point is please don't pick your rats up by their tails. Um, I know it may seem easy here at times, but it's really not a good idea at all. It's bad for them, it's stressy, it stresses them out, it is not good for their spines. And basically, it's just so much nicer for everybody if you just pick them up nicely. Um, if you don't know how to pick up a rat, I'll try and get a rat that's going to behave. Let's go. Oh no, they're all coming here. Okay. These guys are just hyper. Um, if you let them sniff you to start with, and then if you get your hand and you just slide it underneath them, and then you can just pick them up, this is only with one hand so it's a bit difficult but you just scoot them up like that, don't come at them like this that's really not a good idea um, they are, you know, in some ways they are prey animals so if you come from the top it can really, it can really really scare them so if you come from underneath them like so, I'm not going to do it to him because he's eating but um, if you do that, preferably with both hands, but I'm trying to hold the camera here, so it's so difficult. But if you do that, and it just makes everybody's life so much better. And it's so much nicer for them, especially. So yeah, um, please do comment down below if you think I've missed anything out. You know, there are so many things to know about rats, but that's just a bit about care and things. So um, yeah. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Where are you? Where are you? You want some carrot? Carrot! Eat the carrot. No, you don't want the carrot. Oh, you do want the carrot. Yay, carrot. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's just a bit about care. And as I said, if you have any more ideas about what people should know, or if you want to know anything, then please do comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.